Did you sleep well last night? Do you sleep well regularly? Do you wake up at night? Do you have trouble sleeping? Dr. Trudy Pieper joins us today to talk about sleep issues. And if you've been with us before, you find out there's so many natural remedies to a lot of our issues. And guess what? Sleep is one of those as well. We can work on it to improve our sleep patterns. And you've got some tips for us. I do, you know, sleep is huge. We know that you're more likely to have sleep problems after the age of 50. But in my practice, we see sleep at all ages, at all times. Next to constipation, sleep is probably the number one issue that we see uh, throughout our patients. And a lot of reasons for that, Jennifer. We know it's this high, fast-paced society we live in. There's no downtime. Um, people go home after work and they're on their social media. Their electronics are stimulating them. They're watching some violent television mm -hmm. shows. They've got a lot of stuff that are just stimulating them so that they can't even calm down and sleep. Mm -hmm. But another big issue is our caffeine intake. Um, people are drinking the big gulp. Uh, 32 ounces of sodas that have loaded with caffeine, Mountain Dew and the Pepsis and the Cokes that take a long time to get out of your system. The, the energy drinks that our young people are using to help them get through their day. And I even see it in my seniors who are drinking a pot of coffee mm -hmm. throughout the day. And that's that caffeine stimulation. So that uh, limiting those might be a, one of the first things as far as lifestyle changes to do. Allowing yourself time to calm down, shut off your electronic devices an hour before bedtime can make a huge difference with your sleep. Because yeah, you mentioned those electronic devices, they create eye stimulation they as do. well, which can also, in, sometimes we don't, I think we often don't realize how much we are stimulating our, our bodies. And then we lay down to sleep and our minds are racing and things just won't calm down. and. Um, our poor central yeah. nervous systems can't take all that stimulation. <laughs> it's really, really hard for us. Um, and another issue is fluids. Um, we know that we're supposed to be drinking more. So a lot of times they look up and throughout the day we haven't drinking. So we come home and we start drinking lots of fluids. I'm gonna make up and I'm gonna drink a gallon of water between now and bedtime. Well then you have to be up and you're in the bathroom all mm. night. So one of the major issues that I have are people that are up going to the bathroom all night long. So limiting your fluid intake before bedtime is another key factor with that. Um, there's also some really easy things that we can do. Studies have found um, everything from food you eat and colors of your bedroom. That colors makes a big of difference. Your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna remodel, you should remodel and paint your bedroom blue. 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 Uh, blue, people who sleep in blue bedrooms sleep longer and wake up happier uh, and are more optimistic. Uh, blue slows the heart rate and lowers your blood pressure. Who would have known? I wouldn't have known. I know. My you know, uh, my daughter always had to have a blue bedroom. She woke up happy every morning. So maybe that was oh. the reason why wow. it was the blue room. <laughs> so what are some other proven help ideas that exist for sleep issues? If the reason you're sleeping, uh, getting up at night, may be because of temperature, you're too hot, you're too cold, um, you're having, um, hot flashes or in or just temperature switches. Um, a lot of times that's controlled by the hypothymus in your brain and that has to do with not getting enough oxygen through the body and deep breathing before bedtime makes a huge difference with being able to control the temperature of your body throughout your night. So it's so simple, it's one of those things you're gonna go, you're gonna hold in, you're gonna breathe in for four counts, two, three, four, and then you release after holding it for three, so you're gonna count in one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, and then release. And you repeat that for about a dozen times before bedtime, and it's been found that it'll actually help with temperature control during the night. How uh -huh. simple is that? Very simple. Breathing. Just make a note, put a note behind by your bed that you need to make sure you do these breathing exercises before that. All right, fiber. Fiber is another thing. The Columbia University has found that the less fiber you eat, the hard, longer it takes you to fall asleep at night. And they found that by adding 25 um, milligrams of fiber every day to your diet, you will sleep, go to sleep faster and stay asleep longer. So fiber can be uh, flax seeds, chia seeds, psyllium hulls, carrots, celery, uh, fresh green vegetables, lots of things with fiber the more you increase, 
the more likely you are to fall asleep and stay asleep. And those all sound like things we should have in our diet should anyway. Be anyway. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how God really just created it all to work? You no, know, it, it is. We, we get our ideas and what we want to eat, what we want to do, and we kind of mess it up. If we just follow God's pattern. It's amazing. It does he, work he gave out. us the, the food that is great and nourishes our body in so many different ways. And another way is magnesium. And magnesium is needed for 300 bodily functions. Most people are magnesium deficient. And if you will just take um, 200 and try to work up to 400 milligrams before bedtime, it'll help uh, leg cramps, it eases the nervous system, and it's been found that it'll help de-stress you by 25% just by taking mm. magnesium before bedtime. All right, blue paint, we discussed that. And then a bedtime snack. I hear things here and there, you know, don't eat before bedtime, do eat before bedtime. If you're having problems sleeping, you need a bedtime snack of something that has tryptophan in it. Mm -hmm. We all, you know, think about Thanksgiving and the turkey. So it's turkey on some whole grain crackers will contain tryptophan, which will add, and tryptophan is one of the main ingredients in serotonin, and serotonin is needed to fall asleep. So a snack before bedtime, if you're having problems sleeping, and now we're not gonna make it a huge meal, but a snack, <laughs> an ounce of some turkey on some crackers will help. Um, my favorite, dark chocolate over Ooh. nuts will also give you the tryptophan and the magnesium, or a little hot chocolate your mom used to give you also has tryptophan, magnesium, and a little bit of carbs to help you fall asleep. Wow, some simple tips that you can use to help you get a better night's sleep. God does want you to get good night's rest and has provided all kinds of ways, natural ways, that you can add into your life to be able to, uh, to, to rest better at night, which of course means you're gonna be functioning far better during the day as well. Dr. Trudy Pieper, Phoenix Wellness Center in Johnstown, Ohio. We appreciate your comments and your suggestions. Uh, for more information and if you want to uh, contact her directly, here's where you can find her, Phoenix Wellness Center in Johnstown. There's the phone number on the screen or you can look up her website, phoenixwellnessforyou.com.